So, I, I mean, I certainly can't say. Not a lot of people can say they lost 135 pounds right. in their life. So I'm curious, like, that is the amount of wisdom and, like, just knowledge that you've right. acquired. What what were the biggest lessons that you took away from it, like, that you still keep today? I would say time management. Hmm. Time management. Really? It's it, it, The biggest thing that I've learned is that everyone has the same 24 hours in the day and that it's really just it comes down to how we use them, right? Mm. It's just... If you want something bad enough, you're going to get up, get up every day and work hard to go get it. If not, you you can let it slip to the cracks of your yeah, fingers, man. If you want. So like, how did you because the amount of focus, the amount of focus and determination that you have to have had day in and day out. Like, dude, I don't think people really understand, and I don't really understand, but even from a P- from like a physical therapy perspective, the, right. the level of commit you don't slack. Right. You don't slack. You don't miss meals. You literally, you're obsessed. I'm sure at right. this point, you will literally, like, you get out of the gym, it's like, when am I going back? Right. So I just want to know, like, were there people or, or, or songs or books or... Any sort of that, th- like any anything like that, that kept you inspired and on the path. Hundred percent, hundred percent. What was that? Um, Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, huge, huge. so inspirational. Um, another guy that I follow, uh, Christian Guzman on Never. YouTube. Mm. So inspirational. You gotta give him. A, you gotta mm. look into him. Um, but really, it's just it. Those guys, like they, some of those guys are just like the reason why I I have started this in the first place, or have motivated me to keep going. You know what I mean? I really think like with just without Gary Vaynerchuk or whatever, I don't know that I would have been able to keep up that journey or whatever. There were a lot, definitely a lot of times where I was down in the dumps, didn't feel like working mm-hmm. out that day, but he was able to, you know, just, just yeah, pull it spit out. some real shit and yeah, make me get in the gym. Man, that's. 100%. That's wild. Yeah. So like, man, I'm just I'm just like the level of commitment yeah. day and, in, and not even just the commitment, especially in the beginning like the self-talk. Right. So okay, so this is what I'm curious about. So you seem to have had like a very good um viewpoint on patience like mm-hmm. in the beginning like you knew that you're not going to shed 100 pounds in like a month or right. like a couple of months right you knew it was a long journey but at the same time even though and i think we're one of the same here have a good grasp on the long game there are days when you're still frustrated and right. impatient right so how without even i don't know if it's with gary v without gary v just on your own like how do you recalibrate your perspective like for me i look at my youtube channel why am i not here mm-hmm. right i'm always like but it's just patience. It's just right. consistency. And that, at the end of the day, that's the answer. So how did you manage that? So whenever I would get just, you know, discouraged just from, from not being where I wanted to be yet, even though I've been working so hard, mm. you know, for so long, right. I would always just try to look back to why I started, you know what I mean? And it's just another one of those things where you have to take into account all of the good things that you have going for you, you know, mm. how far you've already came. You're not where you want to be. But you, you've made it this far. Like, you'll yeah. get there, you know? Yeah. Trust the process. Keep putting in the work. You'll get there. So take me back to the why. Like, when you're looking in the mirror and you're 300 pounds, 305 pounds, whatever, 315, whatever it was, right. and you looking and you don't like what you see. Like, what is going – what is the why? Is it like, I, I deserve better. I want to inspire. Right. I, I I want more for my – like, what is your – why? is it right. about you? Is it about the world? Like, what – It's it's about everything, man. It's about me. It's I, – I felt like I deserved better. I felt like I could bring more value to people if I were to take better care of myself and set an example for mm. other people. I felt like I would be just putting myself in a better position – for my relationships, for my family, just for my career, later in life, everything, man. I just, I, it needed to make a change. Mm. 315 pounds at yeah. sophomore in high school. That's just it's, not yeah. healthy, man. But I, then again, I think that skill, it's a skill right. of looking in the mirror. And being able to know when there's something wrong. And being truthful and like right. heeding that There's call. so many people right, who, can, who can look, in their, look themselves in the mirror 
day in and day out with a problem and they just they're too scared to tell themselves about it man they're 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 too scared to really be honest with themselves yeah i mean it's a scary feeling though. right it is it's a vulnerable feeling i'll tell you i sat there i cried for about 30 minutes yeah but i'm it you gotta do it you but gotta do it. But it is. You gotta break yourself of, it, down to yeah. build yourself back up. Man. It has to be that way. It has to be. It, it has to be. Like I mean, it's it is similar. Like when I had my surgery and I found like bro, I cried. Too. Like it's just how it is. It's how it but goes. it's step one of many. It's like right. it's not a defeating cry. It's right. like uh, this is the beginning. The start. Yeah. Yeah. It's fueling that fire. Yeah. Man.